Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to HTML and CSS Series 1, Lesson 11, and in this video we're going to style the footer. Wow. Alright then gang, so this is going to be the last lesson in this tutorial series. Uh, we're going to focus on the footer right here, and we need to do a few things. We need to float these list items to the left, float this map to the right, and replace these things with little icons. All right, but the first thing I want to do is grab hold of this H2 and style it the same as this H2 right here and also apply a border to the top of this section just like here. Now, I could go here and write out the rules separately if I wanted to, but to save time, what I can do is just combine my selectors with the ones up here. So where we've got clients here, that applies a border and a padding top. I can just say comma and then the name of this section, which is contact. And then that's going to apply the padding at the top. And then likewise, I can come down here and say contact H2. And that's going to style the H2 exactly the same as up here. Cool. All right, next thing I want to do is style this list right here. So to do that, I need to grab hold of the UL tag, which has an idea of contact methods. So we'll say contact methods. Oops. And we're going to float this to the left. All right, next thing I want to do is grab hold of the li tags within that. So I'll copy this and say li. And we're going to give these a list style type of none. Uh, a color of that gray color again, which is 888. Um, a line height of around... 30 pixels, just pad them out a little bit. Um, and then we're going to style. You remember before each list item, there was one of those little icons, like a little telephone, little envelope, and then something else down here. Yeah, we're going to do that. But we're not going to apply a padding to this um, element right here and apply a background image. I'm going to show you a different way of doing that, and that's using the before pseudo class. So what I want to do is come down here and say contact methods li, then a pseudo class, that's with a semicolon, yeah? And then we say before. And what this is gonna do is insert some content before each li tag, all right? So we can style that element before each one. So we're gonna say it's gonna have some empty content like that, and then we're gonna display it as block. And what we're doing here essentially guys is saying look before each li I want you to go before that and place some kind of empty placeholder thing there so I can style it. So that's what we're doing. right? We're just styling this empty placeholder that we've put in before each li. We're giving it a display of block so that we can control those width and height properties of the block. right? Uh, so what we're going to say is give it a width of 40 pixels and a height of 40 pixels and then we're going to float this to the left so that it's before the li tag itself and then we're going to give it a margin right of 10 pixels and we're going to give it a background of a url and then it's going to be that picture sprite that we saved in one of the first tutorials with all the little icons on so we know that's in the images folder forward slash and it's this one right here logo sprite so now you can see we've got those logos right there and we just need to alter the background position of those so that each li tag has the right one associated with it right so you'll notice one thing these now look like a set of stairs they go from left to right as well as top to bottom now we want to get rid of that we want them to be fairly straight going down. So to do that, what we need to do is come up to this selector right here and every li tag needs to clear left. So we'll just clear left there. And that's because this thing right here was floating to the left. So every li tag, we need to clear this float so it goes directly under again. Otherwise, it's just gonna scoot up to the left of it. And that's what was happening before. All right then, so now what I wanna do is give this a no repeat property just so we don't get that extra bit coming down below at the bottom. And then we need to give each of these LIs, or each of these rather, a different background position so that they show the different icons, all right? Now, I've already worked out the position of these icons, so I'm just gonna paste them in. Um, I've copied them before, and I'll paste them now. So I'm gonna paste them down here. 
And you can see what I've done is say contact methods li nth child one, which is this one, before. Okay, so we're targeting this little bit before the li tag, and then I'm giving it a different background position so that it moves that sprite, and it's minus one five eight vert. Um, sorry, horizontally, so it's going all the way to the right of that image, and it's finding this sprite image right there, and it's doing the same for the second child and the third child, giving it different background positions so that we've got the right icon for each different li tag. Okay, makes sense. All right then. So now we've done that, we need to move this over to the right. We'll flip to the right. And to do that, it's the only image within the contact methods section. So we'll say contact, or not contact method, sorry, just the, uh, the contact section, contact image. And then we'll float that to the right. All right then. So finally, we need to just style these babies up right here. And let's make some space for ourselves. And the first thing I need to do is grab hold of this nav, which has an ID of social nav right there. So let's grab that, copy and paste down here. And what I want to do is clear the floats because we've got these two floats going on, the map and the uh, the UL right here. So we need to clear those, uh, clear both, and it's going to scoot right down to the bottom. And then I'll style the li tag separately. So let's come down here. Ally. I'm going to give these a list style type of none just to get rid of those little dots and we're going to float each one left and we're going to give each one a width of 40 pixels that's the width of one of those little icons like these things here um, and a height of 30 pixels I'm going to give it a background of that same image so that's in the images folder, forward slash, and then it should be, what is it, logo hyphen sprite dot png, no repeat. Is that working? Background, oh, we've, we've forgotten our colon right here. Okay, cool, now it's worked. Um, and then we wanna indent this text way off over here so that it doesn't show over the images. So we'll say text indent minus 10,000 pixels. Cool. And then the same as we did up here for those li tags, we're going to do the same down here. We're going to scoot over the background position of each one in order. Now, the first one is Facebook, so we don't need to move that one, but we need to move the subsequent three ones here, these. All right, so let's do that. Let's say social nav li nth child and then two because we're going to move this second one right here and then we're going to give that a background position of minus 40 pixels and then zero top and bottom so now you can see the twitter one is second i'm just going to copy this paste it another two times And then I'm going to change this to the third child and this to the fourth child. And then the third child, I'm going to scoot over 80 pixels. That becomes Pinterest, which is the third one, yeah. And the fourth one, 120 pixels. And it now becomes LinkedIn, which is right here. Awesome. Okay, so I want to do one more thing. Well, two more things. First of all, you'll notice when we hover over these, we don't get that little hand pointer, okay? Now these are links, so we should be getting that hand pointer. You can see here, there's little A tags, so we should be getting it. And the reason is because the A tags are not occupying all of the space of the LI tag. So we can do that, we can target those A tags by saying social nav A. And then what we're gonna do is display those, oops, display block, and then we'll say width 100%. And height 100% just like that and now when we hover over them you can see we get that little hand icon awesome now one more thing I want to do I want to move this whole list upwards a little bit so it's more in line with the bottom of this map all right so to do that I'm going to go back up to this social nav right here and I'm going to give it a position of relative so that we can move it upwards we'll say the top position is going to be about minus 40 pixels 
and that moves it upwards 40 pixels in respect to its original position which was here so now you can see it kind of lines up more with the bottom of that map all right then so there it is guys finished product just like that and like i've been saying throughout this course uh, there may be parts of this design that i've made in the css and the html that are slightly different from the psd for this tutorial series, I didn't really care about the nitty-gritty bits like that because I've not got a client at the end or a designer saying, well, you know, this needs to be pixel perfect or the colours need to be spot on. I'm just showing you the process here, guys. So when you're doing things for clients yourself, you're going to want to take a little bit more care and get the colours spot on, the margins spot on, the font size, the font families, all that stuff, yeah? Um, I just thought for a tutorial series, this would be enough. So you'll notice that this isn't a responsive website. If I make the screen smaller, it's not gonna respond with that and it's not gonna look great on mobiles. But this is an introductory tutorial series, right, for beginners. What I'm gonna do in the future is make a whole kind of um, load of these different series and we're gonna have one which is responsive, one on Bootstrap, one on Skeleton, uh, one on Foundation, one to WordPress, etc. There's gonna be loads more coming up, guys, so stay tuned for those and uh, I'll show you how to do all that responsive stuff then. Otherwise, if you have any questions about this whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll answer all your questions. Otherwise, guys, if you enjoy these videos, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial series.